I think this video is going to be like favorites second chance edition. I don't freaking know. <laughs> welcome back to my channel so I thought today we would do a little favorites video I haven't done a favorites video in so so many months and I had a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys that I think that you will love just as much as I do as always I will be sure to leave links down below in the description of this video and if you have any questions about any of the items that I mention in today's video please be sure to leave the question down in the comments Okay, so first favorite, you guys know that I have to start with a planner item. So this one is the Galen leather cover, and this is for my Hobonichi cousin. You guys have probably seen this um, out in a few of my videos and photos over on Instagram as well. I absolutely adore this cover. One of the reasons is because it feels like it's super, super sturdy, but also being just an amazing leather cover. I absolutely love the color of mine. When I got it, it said it was in the color natural. Um, if I can find any more specifics about it, I will. So again, this is a cover for an A5 planner like the Hobonichi Cousin. I do believe that you can fit like your A5 bullet journals in here, things like that. Um, now the pocket configuration does leave something to be desired, but it's not bad. It's not horrible. Still, I don't I don't really rely on pockets for a lot of things in my planners, so it just works. Again, I just I love the color. I love the elastic closure. I'll be sure to give you guys a close-up shot of this item, but if you really wanted to, you could have this planner like literally just like secured shut in your bag so that if you're one of those people that does toss it in your bag and you're worried about things getting inside the pages messing up your pages staining your pages whatever this elastic on here is so strong <laughs> nothing is going to open up this planner I, I highly recommend just checking it out like the stitching I can't say enough about it and I honestly think that they're very well priced if I can remember this was about a $60 planner cover somewhere around there um, and I think it's well worth it the, the stitching the quality the durability this is definitely one of my top recent favorites. Okay, my next favorite is definitely for my content creator friends or just anyone wanting to take photos and videos and you struggle with lighting. I cannot pronounce the name of this brand, but I'll be sure to leave the link down below, but it is this clip light. I'm gonna try to not blind you guys, but it is this really awesome light. You guys have probably seen it all over TikTok, um, often referred to as like the Alex Earl light whatever. <laughs> um, I, I actually really love this thing. I've started using it for my phone calls at work or if I'm filming something on my phone. I learned from my friend Laura that it wasn't supposed to be pointed directly at me, as you can see why. <laughs> but it's actually meant to work better pointed away from you to have light reflect off of like a wall or your desk surface, whatever. Um, but it definitely does help with lighting. I do love that it's got a nice sturdy little clip. Um, you do need to charge this thing. It's got lots of different settings. Um, so you can, let's see if I can do this here. It does get even brighter than what I already had it at. And then you can actually set the temperature of the light I'm not doing a very good job of displaying here, but there are a lot of really cool settings. It's just getting brighter and brighter. It's just getting really, really bright. Um, but I love this thing. It's a whoa, as I just like just blinded myself. Um, because it is so portable, let me turn it off before I waste my battery. And it does come with like the little charging cord, which I absolutely love. And this thing's gonna be going with me everywhere because everything is content, is it? Not really. <laughs> But this is super, super fun to have if you are just trying to up your video or photography game and you just struggle with lighting like I do. I've shared this multiple times. I have one tiny window in my office where I film. It's right over here. And the lighting is just crappy. So I need all the extra help I can get. And this thing, 10 out of 10, recommend. Okay, would this be a favorites video without the mention of another planner? at least for me it wouldn't be. So another favorite of mine, and this is funny because this is a planner that I actually reviewed months ago, like six months ago, 
and I've started really falling in love with it to plan all of my content. And that is the Laurel Denise Planner. I'm sure that you have seen it everywhere. I will, I will show you a different view of this, but I love this thing. I love it. Now I have a couple versions of it because I was sent a few to review them. I'm currently using the undated vertical. I am a dated planner girly. However, the I only have the vertical and they're sold out of all of their other planners. So I'm not doing this to gatekeep showing you a planner that is not currently available. What I am going to tell you is you need to try this planner. You need to sign up for their emails to see when their next launch is. They send out updates regularly. If you follow Laurel Denise and their team over there, um, then you know that they have a really fun social media account and just a really awesome social media presence and they share all the different ways that you can use this planner. It's one of those planners where I was like, this size is so weird. Like who, who is going to use this, right? Well, I am. I am because they do such a good job of showing the different ways that this planner could work for you even when you think it's not going to work for you. Um, and they've done a really good job of that. I'm enjoying using mine for my social media content. It has been a huge help with keeping track and like color coding all of the different ways that I can keep track of different projects that are due. I've had a lot of more, um, I guess you could call it freelance work or UGC content that I have been working on recently, which I absolutely love, but I do need a place to keep track of it all. I do still rely on my notion for a lot of things. However, I am a paper planner to the core of my soul. So I do like to start off on paper and then transfer things to my notion so I can kind of look back and look at all the analytics, all that fun businessy stuff. So definitely check this out. Like I said, they're currently not available, so I apologize, but go to their website, sign up for their emails. You will not be disappointed. All right, my next favorite is another planner. <laughs> so it is the eight by eight Archer and Olive planner. I shared this a couple of videos ago. Uh, my friend Laura, who's just influencing every ounce of my life, apparently. Um, <laughs> convince me to get uh, an 8x8 Archer and Olive. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to convince me, but this is the Archer and Olive 8x8 dot grid planner. I'm obsessed with this thing. I'm going to sneak in a shot, a little sneak peek of my Go Wild spreads. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. And for me, it's not necessarily the, the notebook itself. It's the size. The size is what is making this thing land on my favorites, right? Most bullet journals are an A5 size, nothing wrong with that size, right? But when you're using a notebook as a memory keeping sort of vessel or whatever the heck you want to call it, um, the wider the better. <laughs> you can just, you know, when things... <laughs> Let, let's try this again. It, it just makes it a lot easier to work with a space when it is wider. My God. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> if you can check out Archer and Olive, I adore this company, their brand, the quality of their books is amazing. The paper is absolutely impeccable with the 160 GSM. There is nothing thicker on the planet. I, I'm going to move on to the next, to the next item now. <laughs> Okay, this next favorite item shocked me. I am not, I repeat, I am not a fan of the Pilot Friction pens until now. <laughs> so recently I came across the Pilot Friction Synergy. This one, this one's a different one, y'all. It is a different one. So the regular Pilot Friction, in my opinion, are very like watery. They write almost gray for their black ink pen. However, the Pilot Synergy comes with a needle tip, so it's a little bit of a smaller tip that you're gonna write with. And I have found that this one is the most pigmented of the Pilot Frictions. And I truly, truly love it. I've been obsessed with using it in my Laurel Denise planner because they love friction pens and markers and highlighters as well. So again, easily influenced and this one I really really like. I'm gonna um, turn the camera around and show you guys how it writes. Um, it writes really well. It erases really well. I'm still very skeptical though about any pen or marker of friction left in the heat. I live in a very warm environment, so it's not very friendly with those things. I've heard of people leaving their planners in their cars and then they come out and everything's disappeared because these things disappear with heat, right? 
then they have to stick their planner in the freezer and I'm like that that can't possibly work I'm definitely not going to try that but uh, if I do write in anything in my planner, whatever, my planner is not being left in my car. So that should not be a problem. So that is my only hesitation with this pen is just be careful if you take it out into the heat, into the warmth. It's probably not going to make it. <laughs> but this, this one's a good one. This one's a good one, especially when you're jumping into like a new planner or a new system or maybe you're brainstorming and you want to be able to erase but pencil isn't your thing then this is it this right here i like it try it out let me know what you think or if you've already tried it okay another current favorite is also something that i didn't like when i first got it i think this video is going to be like favorites second chance edition i don't freaking know <laughs> but it is the sharpie s note duo so if you're not familiar with these they are a double-sided marker from sharpie as part of their s note line it comes in like a variety of different pack sizes i have the 16 count i listen i listen i love a dual tip marker i really really do but when i first got these it didn't work with any planner that i was currently using it bled through everything it made me ragey and i was like absolutely not well, then enter that Laurel Denise planner I showed you a few minutes ago. <laughs> um, and these are the colors that I need for all of the color coding magic. Because again, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the friction markers. So I wanted something colorful, vibrant, a little bit more vibrant than the mild liners. But that also had the dual tip. And I'll show you guys the dual tip here in a second. But it's almost like a bullet tip and then a chisel tip, which is perfect for highlighting over certain things or just wanting a more like narrow tip or whatever to write out in the different colors. I really do like these. For me, it's the color selection. It's the color payoff on the Laurel Denise paper. I don't love these in the Moxie Life Planner. I really don't. I feel like they bleed through a little bit too easy or they shadow because nothing really bleeds through the moxie life paper so for me this is more for like your archer and olive paper that's also nice and thick with that 160 gsm paper um so definitely take note of that with the s note <laughs> okay last but certainly not least it is more planner things but this time it is tombow markers and it is specifically these colors right here i actually grabbed these colors while i was at michael's i grabbed them individually from their packages and i fell in love i fell in love so quickly i use these all the time and i'm going to tell you what numbers they are right now before i before i get distracted so the first one is the yellow it's zero two six love this one you need it also, yellow is one of my favorite colors, so I'm probably going to buy like 10 of these. <laughs> the next one is this like beautiful green color, but it falls in like the neutral um, shades with Tombow, and that's N57. It definitely writes more like a army green gray. I'm not an artist, but this is a beautiful color and you need it. Okay, next one is... 312 so it's like a lighter aqua color but i mean i'm just i'm just gonna swatch it for you guys and you guys will be able to see just how freaking awesome this color is and all, and all of these colors together go really really well and then the last one is n79 this is actually recommended by so many people over on instagram and now i have four of these because i use them so so much it is the perfect neutral gray that's slightly warm I, I know that that's not very um scientific or artsy but this is the perfect gray for me so these are the four tombow markers make sure you go check them out you can get them individually over at jet pens or over at your local michaels they do sell tombow markers individually which is freaking amazing all right, guys, that is it for today's favorites video. I hope that you enjoyed spending some time with me, hanging out with me, and letting me share all of the things that I have recently been loving. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're already subscribed, make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. I can't seem to put any words together today. <laughs> This is good stuff. Could never get the lighting right. Nope. Oh my god, I cannot talk today. Right, that's good. Okay. 
If you're already subscribed, blah, blah, blah.